Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 31 of Direwolf20 server play series. And uh, yeah, a bunch of people hanging out on the server at the moment. Slow is streaming with, wow, he has like 1,200 people watching his stream now. Slowpoke101 on Twitch. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, we were killing Richard G. That was pretty fun. Uh, Richard G came in and then, uh, yeah, we killed him. Quite a few times. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm playing around. Hey, there's a computer here, Richard G. Is that yours? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's got your sword, your it's carriage, your pots. Now. It's unfortunate, dude, but sometimes you die and don't get your stuff back. Oh, shame. Shame. Don't start it if you can't shame. finish it. <laughs> Poor Richard G is learning an important lesson today. Meanwhile, I'm getting some clay, because I want to show uh, off the fact that I did a little bit of researching between this episode and last, and uh, got myself a few more goodies. I got a couple new golems, and I also got the Wand of Lightning. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, some of the upgrades for golems, uh, the Strength and Perception one. Perception allows them to have a larger perceptive range, allowing them to pick up items from further away. And the Strength one allows them to carry more items than they normally could. By default, they can carry 16. Uh, so you can see this stuff here. Um, but you still don't know the uh, research, so you still need to research them. So again, still trying not to show you guys how I researched it, because that's the part that you have to discover on your own, and is a lot of fun. But uh, I will show you how to craft the end result, which you can't do until you complete the research. So uh, I'm going to get uh, a golem animation core here, just to get started, and then I can show you guys the cool stuff that we're going to make. So uh, golem animation core is bricks around Nitor. Let's make it happen. So uh, slow poke you with me still, buddy? I'm staying here, man. My entire stream is waiting to see golems. Nice. All right, so I need that, and I need eight of you and eight of you. Where's all my trap doors? I'm just going to go to the restroom. I will be right back. All right, well, uh, stand yourself over where you were a minute ago so they can see, like, the magic happening. Because the magic happening is cool. Yep, or don't. That's okay. You can just disappear and not respect my wishes. I'll save it, stream. Don't worry. What's Richard G complaining about? Dyer stole my armor, my carrots, my invisibility. I don't have any of those things, dude. You can watch the YouTube video. Like, right now, I have my inventory open. I don't have any of those things. Well, I didn't steal it, dude. Go make more of it, and then don't attack people in PvP. He's AFK. By the way, I found that trap doors are a good source of uh, the motion stuff. Yeah, or because I don't want you to accidentally leak it by commenting. All right, so uh, recipe number one. Uh, Got to make a core, which is the base of all golems, it would appear. And that is these things. And then you can see I need eight Imperio and eight Modus. Not a big deal because I've got these cool things going on. Um, Imperio being on the blue Zycorium. So I need four blue Zycorium and four trapdoors. And I'm going to cut the video here and wait until Slowpoke's back. All right, here we go. Uh, ready to throw these things in the cauldron. Okay. Thanks, guys. And then that should start charging up the associated workbench. See that? How cool. And did you notice the color of the sparkles um, relates to the color of the item that you're yes. doing? So, like, that's yeah, pretty yeah. epic, right? So I've got my first golem animation core. And which one do I want to make, the stone golem or the clay golem? I'm going to try clay golem. Clay golems keep an inventory supplied, and stone golem moves items out of an inventory. So they're kind of the opposite. But I was going to go with clay, I think. So that's five okay. of those guys, and then this guy on top. So if I've got that right, it would kind of say you had a furnace. It would always make sure the furnace had at least one coal in it. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, cool. You see um, my hot bar, you have my armor and sword. Told you I didn't have it, dude. Oh. Okay. 
Not like I, I, I had it on purpose. He's been complaining for like 20 minutes about his armor and sword. Wah, wah, wah. Has he? Yeah. He's like, my armor, my sword. Bad things happen when I try and kill he people. He shouldn't have killed me, should he? All right, you ready? Here goes part two. Okay, cool. So there's like two steps to this whole creation process. You have to get the uh, core for the golem, and then you have to get the golem itself. So here goes the next piece, which should be, um, I'm going to say, red and white sparklies going through. Logistics pipes is coming. Dude. There we go. So, Puck, can See you that awesomeness? Speak chat, please? Yeah, I can. Retro G mm. kind of being in the way. And I've got a clay golem worker. Nice. And you can see the wand of the apprentice recharging itself from the local vis, which is going down and making bad things happen again. Oh yeah, I should clean up uh, the wall that I did when I was trying to trap Richard G in cobblestone. Alright, now the next thing I need to make is a marker. There it is. Just in a workbench, wood around wool. Not too bad. I'll even make two markers. That might be cool. And oh, I crashed. Uh, we... Alright, server's coming back up now, so uh, I am recording once again. And I'm making a couple of these nifty little blocks called markers, which are important uh, for what we're about to be doing. So, Slowpoke, let me know when you're back. Hey, uh, um... Okay, Apparently he I think also we're enabled back. um computercraft http. Oh, that wasn't enabled? Yeah it was. Apparently it now it is. No, oh, maybe in one point four it wasn't. Alright, slow, you ready? Yep, go for it. Why are you sinking me into the ground? Is that server lag or something? Who, me? Yeah, uh, look, look on my stream. Weird. Can you see it? Yeah, it's strange. I'm cleaning up my inventory real quick because I have too much junk. People have a crush on my voice. You really should. My voice is not that good. I do slow. Who said that? That would be Delta. Oh my All right, God. here we go. You ready? <clears throat> yeah. That'd be good. So what I'm, I'm going to do Nailing. is place this chest over, I don't know, in this room here. Okay. And put an orange marker next to it. Like that. Okay. And inside, I'm going to place some cobblestone and some sand and some dirt. And Richard G, what are you doing? <laughs> and then over here, slow, I'm going to place the clay golem worker. Okay. Ah, oh, it's so cute. They are just like the cutest thing to have around me. There we go, and I'm going to tell him to keep cobblestone inside this chest. I'm not okay. sure if he's too far away from the chest or not. Maybe he is. I'm going to move this thing a little bit closer. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, we're currently crashed. Um. All right, little golem, do your thing. There he goes. Look. All 
Oh, I see why, because I told him to keep one cobblestone in there. There was already one cobblestone. That leads me to wonder. Guys, uh, Zynga, if they delete files like that, then it's not our fault. So don't worry about it. I don't, you, you don't need to prove it that much. No, if they start deleting things like that, then just don't worry about it. It's their own fault. Ooh, I just found a bug. Right, uh, guys, uh, before, just very quickly. Um, everybody who's on the stream, I've just been asked to do something very quickly. Um, I would appreciate if as many people as possible... Um, we are probably going to crash the site here, um, but that's okay. I would appreciate it if as many people as possible could, let me just get the right place. Oh, look, there he goes. Nice. Um, could go to there. We need to stress test this server to get as many people as possible on there. If you haven't yet done it, could you register on the server as well, please? We're looking to see if we can get like 500 to 1,000 people on the server at one time. It's dead. Oh, have we killed it already? Yeah, it was having problems there. earlier. Yeah, it was having problems That's cool. earlier. Because I've just logged in and it was fine. It's not loading for me. Okay, right. So we've killed it already. Yeah, I keep getting a timeout message. That is really cool. Are you seeing this though? Yeah, sorry, I was just getting that. Well, well yeah, I know you're doing the, work. The goblet, it's over here for me. Right. So look at his interface. Yeah. What? Yeah, thirty-three cobblestone. Now take the cobblestone out of the chest that he's standing next to. Okay. Yeah. Are you just, how many at a time? 16? Yeah, I think they can only carry 16. If you give them the strength upgrade, they can carry 32. Uh, Delta back. Yeah, we'll try and do it in a minute if you want. If you get the server set up, uh, and it's vanilla, at the end of the stream, I'll see if we can do it there. And I have a report, uh, a bug to Azanor. When you break uh, the... Markers, hey, I think they slow. lose their metadata. Yeah. Palomar actually is asking an IRC if he can give Richard G his stuff now. I haven't got right. his stuff. I'll be right back. After Apparently it was on your toolbar. Well, what? All right, guys, I'm back to recording. Slowpoke is having some fun with shenanigans, and I want to make something new. Well, new to me. Probably not new to you guys, but new to me. I'm going to figure out how to work anvils. Look at me. I'm playing vanilla. Ta-da! Block of it iron. It's quite possible that the website is down right now. Just give it a second. So there's either, like, an invisible person standing in my house. Is that a person? Yeah. Guys, I, I'm just, um... I'm looking at somebody. I will be with you in just a minute. Slowpoke's still streaming, by the way. I have an anvil. Nice. I don't know how they work. I'll have to figure it out. Weird noises are happening and they scare me. I'm gonna put it in my basement. Make it rain. What? It is raining. Oh god, why are they following me? Who? People people have sus where I am, it's really bad. I can't even go and analyze someone. There you go. If you wanna go and do it. And go say hi. This guy looks is looking for voice actors and stuff like that. We might be able to help him out with that, actually. I guess I get some diamonds, right? Too expensive.
What's it mean when the uh, thing tells me it's too expensive? No idea. I don't know either. Guess I'll get other items and see what happens. User joined your channel. <laughs> <laughs> They're not getting attacked. Wait, slow. You said someone <laughs> was looking for voice actors? Yeah, I'm going to sort it out. Ah, Havoc's doing it! <laughs> See, now you're safe and can't get in trouble. All right, now to figure out how guys, settle down works. for a minute. Settle down for a minute. Let me let me see if I can find out about this voice actor. Stop! Stop speaking for a minute. All right, guys. YouTube, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, got some magenta dye here. I don't think I've used magenta paint just yet, and I want to get cooking with some good thumb, uh, some good like sorting stuff for my system here. So grabbing some silver and tin, and heading off. Is it silver and tin or iron and tin? I think it's iron and tin. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So, uh, I'm going to go over this way. And I'm going to cook up my tin and everything, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back, and uh, getting ready to make myself some magenta paint. Let's get this stuff going here. Ta-da! Magenta paint. Because I want to set up a, that new block that I set up downstairs. Remember, like, an episode or two back? Boy, I've been having so much fun with Thomcraft. I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, a couple episodes back. And I guess I need a paintbrush. I always forget the recipe for these guys. Paintbrush. Okay, just a stick and wool. No problem. I can manage that. My one chest is stuck open. Oh, well. What you going to do? Magenta, here I come. Pretty sure I haven't used magenta down there yet. Usually I keep track of what brushes I have, but somebody borrowed them all. Pahimar. And, uh, yeah, I don't remember. How am I for pneumatic tubes? Could probably use a few more of those as well. Uh, yeah, I need to cook up some more stuff, don't I? I do. Alright, I'm going to be more cooking and be back. And that's enough brass for now. A little bit more of it's cooking up, but I think a stack of tubes will be plenty uh, just to hold me over. So what I'm thinking is, um, get the magenta stuff ready, paint it, and then I should have a magenta line here. I'm going to make this magenta. I think that's magenta. I think it is, yes. Cool. I'm pretty sure I'm not using magenta otherwise, too, right? Yeah, I'm not. Awesome. Uh, so then what that's going to do is it'll send all my Zycorium straight to this guy to get automatically packaged for me. How cool is that? And then it's just a matter of figuring out which side I have to put the filter on. Mm -hmm. So let's see what I got to do. I should have a filter around here somewhere. If not, I can make one. I have a filter. Nice. I already had one. That's the best part of it. Um, see if I can get just some red wire running under the house, make it just connect to my existing timer. You know me, I hate to waste, you know, timer pulses if I don't need to. So I'm guessing it would go like this way. Uh, and I want to make this guy, the filter interface, say orange. The reason for that is I want to send the Zycorium blocks over here, and then I can tell the Zycorium blocks to go to whatever they were going to go to with the other useless chest. Uh, so that would be gray, light gray probably. And that's where I'll send all the Zycorium blocks. Cool? Good plan? I think so. Yeah. That looks good. Alright, now just a matter of... Checking out what do we got down here. How much of a nuisance will it be to extend this timer pulse all the way over here versus just building its own timer pulse? Probably its own timer pulse. I think I've got a timer recipe ready. Turtles, computers, timer. Nice. Yoink. Always nice to have one of them.
No, you're not supposed to be going in things. Stop doing that. Not good. I need to get my covers. How did you even filter your way into there? That bounce back from somewhere? Come on, cover. Let's go. There you go. Nice. Get the tin out of there. Filter it properly. So now what should happen is if we send all our Zycorium blocks down here, um, only Zycorium should be allowed in there. That guy will output to orange, and I just need an example of some Zycorium blocks. So that shouldn't be hard to get uh, in just a moment here. You can see Slowpoke is just AFK at the moment. So green, black, and white. Cool. So that should be getting painted magenta and sent off in that direction. And this stuff does the same. It should get automatically stamped. Ta-da! And then pulled out by the filter. Nice! Look at that! That is cool. Let's get the others done. One, two, three. Now, the reason I'm doing only one set at a time is I want to watch what happens with the bounce back effect. So those two should bounce back. They should go to the closest inventory-ish thing. Cool. Something's going orange. What items are showing up and going through here? Oh, that's the block of Zycorium. Nice. And some scrap showing up. That's another block. Perfect. So it's doing exactly what I wanted to see it do. So pretty much I set up this one block that can compress all these different blocks. I love this thing. The stamper is awesome. Or whatever it's called. So there's one, two, three. Four, five. Let's just put some sticks and some water bottles in here. Sure, why not? Should have two more of these things showing up. And then what I can probably also do, I think I have some other colors already established. There it is, red and dark. Cool. This stuff actually looks really neat when you place it in the world, by the way. Fancy. So let's go get this thing set up. Dark, red, green, blue, white. All right, so everything should sort properly now, right? Let's see what happens. These guys can all sort, please. And while they're sorting, I'll sort these as well. Nice. That's what I like to see. Now, where are they going to actually bounce back to now? Because I have more than just, you know, one stack at a time going in there. I want to see where the purples wound up. Okay, purples backfill into the filter. Interesting. That might be a huge problem. Ooh, that's also a problem. Hmm. We only want nine of an item to go in there. Hmm. Trouble. Trouble indeed. All right. I will need to fix that. Give me a minute to figure out how. All right, guys, I do have a solution to this, I think. Let's get cracking. Uh, I'm going to put a regulator up here. That should solve my problem, to be honest with you. Well, actually, I can just put these down here. So grab an item detector. I'm gonna also going to need two buffers to go here. One, two. And then uh, I need a regulator. Regulator, where are you at? Should be in here somewhere. There it is. Cool. Just need some more brass. No problem. I got plenty. Regulator. 
Dude, project tables are awesome. Now, let's see what we can come up with. I'm thinking what I want to do here probably would be something like this. Still going to need my paintbrush. That ought to do. Nice. Um, and then we can do this. And you are just really going to be stuck, aren't you? Go ahead, Junk. Empty out. Come on. Empty. That's an adjacent inventory. You should be able to get in there. Alright, you're really going to be a nuisance? Going to need to make this the hard way, isn't it? Alright, I need to get some more of the uh, Zycorium too, by the way. I need to teach this thing how to behave. Okay, that looks good. And then I need a chest just temporarily to store this stuff so it can get unstuck from the filter. Got it all. Alright, so here's the deal, right? We're going to tell you that we want to collect nine at a time of each. And I have to remember which mode it should go in. But now what that should do is only dump a certain amount in at a time. Are you choking up again? What are you doing? Why did you do that? You should have done that. Okay. Is my uh, chest full up there? It shouldn't be. Alright, now it's behaving. It just had the chest on there and it got a little confused. No worries. Alright, so let's see what happens if I throw this 55 red stuff in there now. What should happen is, it should go through it should act and put this thing as a buffer and then only dump nine at a time in. That's what I think is going to happen. Boy, I have to remember if I'm right about this. Boom. Nine went in. Okay. Cool. Trouble again. Alright, now that everything's clean, let's give this a real shot. Yeah, I'm confusing the system by having a chest down here, don't mind me. Alright, so, uh, nine red zycorium should regulate. Hmm, give me a minute, guys. Alright, guys, got another plan. I think this will work. Boy, oh boy, this is becoming trickier than I thought it might be, but hopefully by the time we get it done, it should be very um, flexible. So I'm going to use a relay here. All right, I'm just going to go like this. Transposer, buffer, and two cobblestone. Should get me going. Yep, relay. And then what I'll do is I'll set it up so that the relay stores the excess of this stuff, the Zycorium colored stuff, and it only puts nine because of the buffer, because of the uh, regulator, it only put nine in at a time. So that should be pretty good. So I'm going to break, make that purple so nothing goes down that way. There we go. That should work. So the relay will collect everything, and then it'll dump it in here nine at a time. I'm going to clear this out. Hope I'm doing this right. I might be overcomplicating this at this point, but we'll see. So, what we should wind up with is I should be able to throw all this ore in here, no problem. Let it get exported. Come on, go magenting. 
There you go. And all that stuff should go into the relay. You can see the relay is kind of gumming up at the moment. So it's going to go in there, and what are you going to do? Relay. Nine of each, right? Do your thing, relay. Come on, behave. Huh. Red's going, right? Or is it just my imagination that red's going? It's because we have a backlog of something here? What is going on? Alright, YouTube, I'll be back in a minute. Gotta do some research. Alright, guys, trying something slightly different here. I'm gonna put a tube in between the machine, um, these guys, and hopefully, regulator will behave itself. Let's see what happens now if I dump these guys in here. I'm gonna put just green and red in. So they should start bouncing out. Green, red, I'll put it in this mode. Do you have space? You should be spitting them down. Come on, regulator. All right, still not sure why this ain't working. One sec. All right, guys, here we go again. Let's go. Uh, decided to go with a filter. Set up screwdriver right into the right position. This is probably the easiest method. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but it'll work. And then tell the filter, this'll work. I tested this in my test world. I got tired of testing in game and said, all right, to the test world. Came up with a solution. Um, the regulator wanted to dump all the items at once, which wasn't going to work for me. And uh, yeah, that was about it. Uh, so let's see. I think, no, it's on my digger's backpack. Where my red should be. There we go. So I just got to put these nine in here. And then what we just got to do is hook up the timer, which shouldn't be too bad, honestly. Just need a red alloy wire, I think. And this should complete this build for the most part, in theory. So what should happen is anything that's labeled purple will go into this chest, and then the filter will pull nine items at a time down, and uh, that should get us what we want. Oh, one more. I'm getting a touch of lag, too. You don't even belong in there. There we go. Cool. And that'll just pulse everything out for me. So then I should be able to cover the wall back up, and this thing will look nice. Beautiful. Uh, so now let's give it a shot. So here goes one last time, dumping all the different colors of the Zycorium into there. Just random amounts, doesn't matter how much. They should all go into the chest, and the chest will act like as a buffer, so it doesn't, you know, backlog anywhere. And then the filter will dump everything in nine at a time. Pretty cool. I like that a lot, actually. Put you in there. Uh, let's see, do I have any more in my miner's backpack? Eh, whatever's in here should probably get sorted. There we go. So now it'll automatically stamp out all the different Zycorium for me. So that way it all gets stored in blocks. I assume there's a recipe to go back for Zycorium, right? Yeah, there we go. Blocks back down. Just want to double check. You know, it's soaring after all. You never know what you're going to get with that guy.
cool. So now I don't have to worry so much about the Zycorium space that's being taken up. Still have a lot of aluminum I gotta process. I haven't added that to my cooking station yet, but you can see all the blocks showing up in here, which is pretty good. Pretty happy about that. Just gonna move all this stuff. That chest really isn't being used for Zycraft anymore, is it? No, not so much. Grum had a little bit of a chunk reset in the middle of his base, which sucked. So, he's rebuilding at the moment. Not too shabby. Now this thing should have left just a handful of items in here, so it's only going to pull out nine at a time. Perfect. Exactly what I want. Hey, there goes some purple stuff. if I left my portal open to his base. I think I did. Alright, so we're going to get a little bit of a backlog here. It looks like this filter is the closest backlog spot for like when the black items overload the hoppers here. It's not too big of a deal. I could always throw more hoppers in, or I could just, uh, you know, not worry about it. I mean, it'll eventually clear itself, right? So it's not that big of a deal. And especially now that we got this chest thing going on, I'm not too worried about it. See, look at all those Icorium I got already. It's got a big backlog to uh, clean up. There it goes. Nice. Alright, let's go see what he's up to. I think Console Girl and Covert are on. Alright, Portal Gun's not working. Let's see. Hang on. There we go. That's better. Oh, wow. <laughs> That is not good. Yeah, this is where that crazy machine is that I showed you a couple days back. Looks like this whole chunk reset on him. That sucks. A lot. That's a terrible chunk to be reset. Ooh, did this chunk reset on him too? No, this one looks, well, close. Almost. All right. I'll be back in a few minutes, YouTube. All right, I'm back. Oh, Grum, I didn't know you were in TeamSpeak with us. So Grum needs another diamond chest. I'm, uh, I'm refunding Grum his items because chunk resets are bad enough to deal with. Having to rebuild everything you had built, uh, having to refund your items is even worse. So I'm giving him back his items. Unfortunately, I can't help him get back his uh, position the way he was. Oh, I should be fine, but it just takes a bit of time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Uh, that's actually pretty uncommon, believe it or not. There's a lot of stuff in Forge that kind of blocks that from happening. So I'm surprised it did. Where are you, by the way? Um, I'm restoring my windmill. <laughs> oh, so you're way up high. There you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm down again. So I crystal make diamond all... chest, you said, right? Yeah, one diamond chest. Anything else you need? Well, um, it would save me a lot of time if you could toss off the tubing and wiring down. <laughs> sure. Um, red alloy wiring? Um, yeah, I need, I think, something like 16 or 20 of that. There you go. Yeah, now I just need to do the uh, all the blue stuff. But I'll do it after. First, let's see if I can hook this one up again. So did it completely regen from, like, scratch, or what, yeah. did it just roll back? Because it looks like no, a regen. Re this is a regen, and yeah. the trees wiped out my complete mirrors. <laughs> yeah. 
That's crazy. Uh, let's see. Um... All right, guys, we'll be back in a sec. Oh my, 40 minutes? Yeah, we definitely got to wrap up here. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed checking out episode 31. Uh, had some shenanigans with uh, the guys, as usual, and then uh, checked out some cool Thalmcraft goodies, and then moved on to just making a slight change to my sorting system. I'm really liking that packager. It's going to be nice to be able to package up all kinds of stuff. I might eventually start routing iron down that way uh, as I start to get more and more of the iron coming in. So, Direwolf20 signing off on episode 31. Hope you guys had a good time, and as always, take it easy.